cozy vibe. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> got the king bed with a mountain view and deck. Let's look at the view. Ooh. It's pretty cold outside, like 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is the restroom, the mirror. Hello. The most spectacular thing is actually the view. The view looks so nice. It'd be really cool to sit in it in the morning tomorrow. Wow. Hello guys. After 12 hours of driving from California to Oregon, we made it. Oh, the trip was so tiring. I need to stretch a lot because my back is sore. But anyways, we are currently in Klamath Falls in Oregon, which is pretty much on the southern border of Oregon. Oregon State. We're here because we are visiting a good friend for a couple of days. This is also our first time going to Klamath Falls, so we're really excited to see what there is in the little town here. And also, it's my first time going to Oregon, and I'm a little bit scared about the culture here. So I don't know. We'll see because it's very naturey and um, what do you call it like the very lumberjacky, which is very different from the city vibe that we're used. Used to. So yes, we are also currently staying at the Running Y Ranch Resort. I looked on Google and people had really nice things to say about this resort. I mean, as you can tell from the view, it's very beautiful. It's currently at night right now, but we're going to go walk on some of the trails in the morning and they have like a little marketplace and you have to walk outside. There's like different buildings to go to like different facilities on the resort. I'll show you guys a map of it. It's quite big. I mean, I knew it was going to be cold, but I didn't think it was going to be that cold. So we'll see. Luckily, it's not snowing so that's good our plan is visit our friend he just moved here like not too long ago but hopefully he can show us around some of the attractions and what is there to see in Klamath Falls because I've honestly never heard of this place here until our friend told us that he lives here so so we're currently staying in the lodge right here but there's a lot of things to do and then there's like a trail you can walk and you can go see the Klamath Lake over there outfit check because we're so cold and we're the weak Californians. Steven's got his beanie scarf, gloves. I've got my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our rooms. We're on the first floor. We're going to go to Ruddy Duck Restaurant, which is very close to our room. Guys, do you see the meatloaf entree? I'm gonna eat meatloaf. <laughs> I miss her so much. I got the shrimp scampi. And hubby got the fish and chips. We just had our dinner from the Rudding Duck restaurant. It was okay. We saw the reviews on Google. It had a 3.9 star, so I didn't go into it with much expectation. I ordered the shrimp scampi. It was very large portion sizes though. Two people could probably eat it. It was $26. It was okay. We only went because it was very convenient. It was just down the hall and uh, we were hungry. How did you feel about your fish and chips, Steven? Yeah, it was good. I'm not a connoisseur of fish and chips, so yeah, it was okay. I actually like the tater tots a lot. So if you do decide to get the fish and chips, it was $19 and portion size is pretty decent. This is the lobby. It's so decked out with Christmassy stuff. It gives like such a cozy vibe. And there's the front desk. So we're gonna walk to the marketplace right now. Wow, the door opens for us. They've got soothing music in the background. It's like Christmas music. Gotta savor the last bits of Christmas. Basically, they put salt on the floor because otherwise it'll be slippery. Oh, it would ice over. You know, this is a very fascinating thing because in California, you never see people doing that. But we're in Oregon. So we're going to the marketplace in this giant ranch resort. Over there. Do you want anything? Oh, we're getting ice cream, right? Oh, it's, yes. It's below freezing, but let's go get ice cream. <laughs> okay, so it's like a little market deli. What are Oregon specialty snacks? Do we know? Ice cream. What is it called? Tillamook ice cream. Should we go get ice cream? 
so many flavors. I get that one. Cheese and cream. I really like Oreos and cream flavors. Yeah, why is it that when it's cold, we want to eat? Because we're from Southern California. <laughs> Hello guys, this is day two of our Oregon trip. It's in the morning right now. We're gonna go see our friend at Ningley's Cafe. Klamath is a very small town. We will show you around a little bit. Farmer's omelet. Giant portion. Yep, and some bananas. Kind of reminds me of Forex Washington. So, Nibley's Cafe was pretty good. The portion sizes were really big. We got the farmer's omelet and the bananas. I liked the farmer's omelet, it was good. The bananas were very sweet, but they're also really good. They gave a lot though, like eight or so bananas. Mm -hmm. It's a very cozy cafe. We were told that they're kind of known for getting their like bakery stuff for pastries. I'd recommend it. So, yeah, Klamath Falls, we learned from our friend. The county has 70,000 people. So, it's not like small small i was expecting it to be pretty yeah i mean small. there's a community college and a university here mm -hmm. so. we're about to go eat thai food we're going to thai orchid cafe on main street which is in their downtown area but it is really cold really cold for us <laughs> for us like my hands Amazing. Thoughts, comments. When are we moving up here, huh? Never. <laughs> <laughs> this is downtown Klamath Falls. Anyways, ooh, it is chilly. Oh, that's so cute. Knitted. Wow. The tree warm. <laughs> Oh, I feel like my nose is gonna fall off. It's so cold. Uh. So we are back in our rooms right now after the Thai orchid place. We thought the Thai food was pretty good. The portion sizes were really big. Thai tea was good, a little bit sweet, but that's expected for Thai tea. I was surprised that they had the mango sticky rice dessert because I thought mangoes weren't in season and usually a lot of restaurants will say that it's seasonal, but they had it and it was okay. I felt like the mangoes were a little bit unripe, so it was wasn't too sweet. But overall, I had a great atmosphere. The service was pretty good. And basically after the Thai place, we just went back home because it was so cold. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to walk around and do things when it's freezing and I have to wear gloves and it's just so hard to just use your phone or record and talk or anything because you're just shivering. So yeah, we're just back into our little resort just chilling. And I don't think we're gonna be doing a lot for the rest of today. So We'll see. This is our last full day. It is currently 36 degrees Fahrenheit and I have to bring that up because it's cold. It's not snowing yet. So this morning we're gonna go get breakfast at the Daily Bago. Yay! Oh, look at the little baby corgi. That is my dream dog right there. All right, we're going to be eating at the Daily Bago, which is across the street right there. What did you get? New York Times. New York Times. New York Times. Like, Times. Stuff. Onion bagel yeah. with uh, garlic herb cream cheese. Yes. And then this is Baltimore Sun. Yeah, I think it's newspaper based. That's what the names of them are, so. We're back in the downtown area again. Hello. So we just finished the daily bagel. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? It was good. It was good. The bagels, I mean, they're not the greatest in the world, but mm -hmm. I thought the sandwich was pretty tasty. For yours? For mine, yeah. yeah I felt like the bagel was so, is it old or stale? You know how they say like uh, New York bagels are really good because of the water? Okay. I think it's probably a similar thing here. If the water is different or something like the yeast doesn't, 
make it taste as good. I don't know, oh, but like, okay. I think that's what it is. It, that's why only the Northeast is kind of known for their bagels. Oh, because I was going to say, yeah, the one we usually go to called Brugger's. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh. God, it's so good. But I, I had that expectation kind of here because, but okay, anyways, I shouldn't <laughs> compare California to Oregon. <laughs> well, it's specifically Klamath because this is kind of rural, right? Mm. So in California, Brugger's is a chain. If they weren't good, they wouldn't be everywhere in <laughs> Southern California. So. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well anyways, we just finished eating and we're currently going to walk around at a university here called Oregon Tech. Mm -hmm. It's pretty empty because it's probably like still the winter break. Yeah, yeah. we'll all walk around, see the sides, look at the architecture. Okay, let's go. It's cold. It's chilly. Uh, how do people live here? You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> so I guess this building right here is the Engineering and Technology Building. So something really weird happened. The car just drove. <laughs> like he was just like spying on us. I can't. <laughs> like he thinks we're gonna do something bad, but we're not. We're just checking out the campus. Drama. <laughs> So the Arboretum is open to the public during daylight hours. This is interesting. Look at all the birdies right here. So we are back at the Running Wide Resort and we wanted a close up of the Klamath Lake. So we drove all the way down in this resort. We didn't know how big it is and there's actually a whole community of residents living here. But anyways, we're down by the lake and this is what Klamath Lake looks like. Yeah, it's a little dreary looking just because it's in the winter, but I'm sure during the springtime this is really beautiful. Like me? Yes. Oh, thank you. We're going to go to Momiji Restaurant. It's a Japanese restaurant. There's not a lot in town because there's not a lot of Asians or just a lot of Asian variety. There's a lot of Thai food, but not too many sushi. Anyways, not going to have high expectations, but we're going to try it. Yay, let's go eat. I'm hungry. There it is, Momiji. I'm going to try. This is shrimp tempura, teriyaki, Salem roll, salad. And this is the salmon lovers. And this is the seafood soup <laughs> and some roll. So as part of the Running Y Ranch Resort, they have an ice arena where people can go and ice skate. It's that building over there. They just have a huge pile of ice over here. Different vibe than in uh, California, huh? Yeah. Feels like so many people take it so seriously in California. Like whenever we go, there's always like this group of people that are like practicing to do all their like little moves and stuff. Uh, and then whenever you're ice skating, it's kind of like they get mad because like you're in the way. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, time to go to the hot tub. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, we're coming back home to California and we ended up actually not going to the hot tub yesterday because the sushi restaurant made our stomach feel very uncomfortable. Steven had... Stomach problems. Two rounds of diarrhea. <laughs> What? You have to be honest about... Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, like... Some people don't want to hear it. Okay, well, do you think it's from the cross-contamination of the sushi you had? Well, the sushi tasted good, so it didn't feel like the fish was rotting or anything. I mean, I guess I could have touched something and licked my fingers or something, but uh, I'm usually pretty conscious of that, so... Yeah, so you got, like, sashimi, which is, like, raw fish. I got rolls, which weren't raw, but I felt a little bit something, but then after I would pass gas, it would feel better. So anyways, because of that, we ended up not going to the hot tub. We're just currently driving back to warm California state now. So overall, how was your experience at Klamath Falls? 
It was good. It was nice seeing our friend. Definitely a different experience than uh, Southern California life. Not as many things to do, I guess, in my opinion. You know, we like to go try new foods, get some boba, you know, go to events around LA. But I think uh, Klamath is a lot more mellow. Like when we were talking to our friend, you know, things were within like a five, 10 minute drive. You know, it's convenient from your home to go shopping or go eating, but obviously there's not as many choices and not as many events. I mean, if you're into that lifestyle, that's cool. Yeah. What do you think? It's just mostly outdoor stuff, but we're not super outdoor people, so. And it was cold. And it was cold, yeah, so we didn't really do a lot. Honestly, for that trip, we mostly stayed in the hotel like a good portion of the day just because it was so cold. I mean, I know we walked a few places, but oh, it's hard just doing stuff when it's so cold. And yeah, it's a small, quaint little town. There's not much to do. It was okay. Very homogenous over there. Not a lot of Asians, not a lot of uh, different ethnic groups, I guess. Yeah, I think we only saw like one or two boba shops. And they weren't really boba shops. Although my friend said that they're opening up a new one, so maybe it'll be good. Yeah, I can't live life without boba. <laughs> we go so often. I mean, we can make it at home. It's different. I know. Anyways, thank you for joining our Klamath Falls Oregon trip. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.